guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and for today's video, I'm going to show you the easy way to put a cement mixing tub into a Critter Nation. Now this cement mixing tub up here is 24 inches by 36 inches, uh, and it comes from Home Depot. And one of the big issues you see with people who are trying to use these as a deep base for the Critter Nation is that when they put it in the cage, well, it doesn't seem to fit very well. And so a lot of times people end up either forcing it, which can be difficult on the rest of the cage, uh, or they end up cutting it, which makes it a chew magnet. Um, and so overall, uh, it's just not a good time. So how do you get around this? Well, all you have to do is take off the roof, slip out one of these side pieces, push down that little sucker, and then you just put it all back together. You might have to push a little bit there you go. Ta-da! See? This gets it in there. Super simple. Super easy. No extra stress on the cage. No extra stress on you. You don't end up spending 30 minutes trying to get the stupid thing in there like I did in the past. Uh, I learned this trick from someone in a rat group, so I thought I'd make a short video on it just to show you how easy it is to get these things in the cage uh, if you do it what I call the easy way. Now you still will have the fact that this is a little bit wide for the cage. So when you close these, it's going to put a little bit of pressure you see like that. Uh, but that's not a big issue. I've used these with my cages for a long time. Uh, and I actually used one for several years before uh, with my Critter Nation before I got Bass Pans. So I can promise you that these things will not hurt the cage. This is not a lot of pressure on the cage. Uh, the bars are more than able to take it. Uh, the main worry when getting these things in the cage is really just getting them initially in there. Uh, which is why I showed you the trick with opening this up because you can accidentally break the bars if you try to push too hard from the front when everything else is locked up. So it's best to just take off part of the roof, take off one of the side pieces, uh, and then push in the cement tub, then put it all together, and then that's that. So this is one way to put it in the cement mixing tub, but what about the other way where you have no grate in the floor? Can you do the same thing? Well, the answer to that is yes, and I'm going to go ahead and show you. Okay, so as you can see, I have now removed the grate. So again, I want to put in the cement mixing tub. I'm just going to go ahead and put that in there. Again, it does not fit perfectly. So, let me go ahead and do the same thing. Lift up the top, take out A little bit of finagling, but you can get the sucker in there pretty easily compared to uh, just trying to go in through the front door. Uh, and as you can see, that has nicely gotten the pan in there. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and close it. And there we go. So yeah, hopefully this video is helpful. I wish I learned about this before I switched from using cement tubs. Uh, to my current metal pans uh, and so I just wanted to show you guys real quick uh, how you can get these cement tubs in there a little bit easier. That's it for this video. Uh, hopefully it was helpful and I will see you guys next time. Bye!